final game in the series. It was so much fun, and let's just hope we get something similar today. And we'll get our first taste right now going into game one between Glizzy Gobblers and Tactical Force Elite. As we see, already this looks like pretty clear opportunity for Razor. He's going to just bury that one into the back of the net, and it will be the Glizzy Gobblers opening up on the scoreboard here. Right, just a few seconds into the match, it's Glizzy Gobblers getting on the board. Razor DPS very aggressive out of the jump. Yes, you uh, you love to you love to see the. Uh, the aggression already coming out is oh that was going to be tough though interesting chance there you know the, the one thing that's so different about 2v2 you know at least compared to 3v3 that I, that we really see i think is the is the change in game speed you know you have so much more time and due to you can be so much more tactical in the decisions you make and a lot of players aren't used to that again 3v3 being the primary competitive mode uh, it can be challenging to slow your game down and adapt Right, I think on defense you just have one less player there to disrupt your offensive pushes. So really, it's a, a it's freeing in a way on offense to really get your game going if you get a nice push. So, oh, that's a close opportunity there, denied though by Razor as he'll look to hit on the transition, and the bump play almost came out as well. Spiky Mikey looking to take on the last man, but not quite finding the touch. Oh, great save there by Razor DPS. Yeah, Razor really coming in clutch there at the end, just off the line, and a little bit of confusion here, trying to see who's going to take it, but it's Razor past one, he'll take the challenge against two, and Spiky Mikey trying to make that follow-up, but to no avail. And, and this has been very end-to-end -end in this game, i got to say. It's been very you know long attacks and counter attacks uh, you know there hasn't been much midfield it's just been back and forth and back and forth yeah we're seeing tactical force elite kind of get settled in and be a bit more tactical now after you know suffering a, an early goal in the first few seconds i think they kind of got their bearings and now playing a bit more sound yes they certainly are spiky mikey with a little bit of finesse and a little bit of a flick will make it two for the Gobblers. A little bit more time taken to get their second goal, but they're Spiky Mikey. Nice control there, dribbling it on through and then finishing it off right past the defender. Yeah, so that's a tough spot to be as the last defender as well. You know, you already get the flick. Oh, but never mind. Don't even have to worry about it as Lollipop will just go straight from the kickoff into the back of the net. The quick response from Lollipop Bro right off the kickoff there. Just a, a bit quicker than the Glizzy Gobblers there. Tightening up the, the difference here, two to one. Yeah, and that's an example of the uh, what's colloquially known as the speed flip kickoff there. You saw Lollipop, you know, how much how much faster he got to the ball there. He just, you know, immediately coming out right away and, uh, you know, enforcing that kickoff goal. Yeah, so... A bit of a closer match already. Now we'll look to see just, you know, with a bit less time left, you know, how is this going to be finishing up here? Is there enough time? I mean, of course, a lot can happen in a little bit of time, especially in 2v2. Tactical Force Elite can really buckle down and make a comeback. Yes, they certainly can, as Spiky Mikey will make the challenge to get it by one. Looking for a demolition, but just grabs the boost. The the gobblers here kind of being bullies, and this one could be dangerous as Spiky's gonna have an open shot attempt, and it's off the crossbar and just out. A little bit too high. Almost the bar down goal. Spiky Mikey now getting back to refill his boost, but that was so close. And there it is, Razor DPS with the goal. Now a bit of a steeper lead here, three to one for the Quizzy Gobblers. And that's just so unfortunate for Lollipop. Couldn't quite orient his car the correct way, just struggling to make that recovery and get back. And that's not something you really want to see, you know, that you're letting that third goal come in now. You know, the Gobblers have such a more commanding position, you know, when you, that one extra goal up makes a huge difference. Absolutely. And we'll see if Lollipop Bro can, can respond soon here with not much time left. He had a quick response before to get their first goal on the board, but Spiky Mikey doing a good job keeping it on their side of the field. Oh, that one nearly went in. I, 
I think Spikey was looking for the shot there, but it almost ended up like a pass. I think if his partner had committed, they could have scored. But, you know, when you're in the lead, no sense in, you know, staying too aggressive. And as much as we can hit shots like that, what's the difference? Spikey Mike, you for four. From downtown. And you're exactly right. And, you know, that previous play, Razor DPS didn't want to be too aggressive and go for the goal right away. With that lead, might as well, you know, not leave your defensive end of the field open for the other team to come back. Well, it will be comeback time that is needed here for Tactical Force Elite. They are down in goals already. They need three in just over 60 seconds. Will they be able to find it? They're having a hard time getting it out of their zone. I, I think they're, they're doing okay delaying some of these goals and getting a clear like we just saw. But Spikey Mikey is really quick and able to maneuver past them. They could fall back in the offensive side. I agree. I do think it's been the possession that's been the difference as we see another one go in here for the Gobblers. Uh, yeah, the tactical force lead, I think just struggling to hold on to the ball once they get it. You know, they're being challenged really quick. Uh, they're not finding, you know, those individual outlets that you need in 3v2 in particular. So, a bit difficult for them now. You know, just, the, just about 40 seconds left. I think this one's about done and dusted. Yeah, this might be game one in the books. So, uh, you know, still a series left to play. So Tactical Force Elite has another chance next game. But yeah, I mean, as time went on, it was just the Glizzy Gobblers getting more and more settled in and starting to score more of their goals with a bit more flair as well. As well, we'll just see another one going for a spiky Mikey there, just layering on the pain now and, you know, a little bit of battling in the corner wall. No problem for spiky Mikey. He just keeps on knocking them back. And in a best of three series, the momentum is pretty heavily in the Glizzy Gobbler's favor. It might be a bit demoralizing for Tactical Force Elite to suffer a loss like this in game one and then have to plan for, you know, coming back in this series. Now 7-1, Spiky Mikey is not letting loose here on the last few seconds of the match. No, absolutely not. And, and this is something we talk about often, you know, these events, you know, they can, they can take a while. We're only in the first round here. You have to keep your pedal to the metal in every single game. Even if you're winning by a lot, you know, even if you know, okay, there's only, you know, 30 seconds, I'm up by three, we can't lose. You always, always, always have to keep that pedal matched to the floor. And that's exactly what the Gobblers have done here in game one. They take that one down 7-1. Without a doubt, good showing there from Spiky Mikey with five goals on seven shots. That's some accuracy as well. And, you know, Razor DPS, you know, as his teammate there, we saw him, you know, get the early goal and contribute another one later on. But really, he was doing a great job of setting up Spiky Mikey for some scores. Oh, yeah. I, I think both Razor and Spiky played really well together. I think they worked off of one another really well, you know, just getting in and... Um you know working on those outlets I, I think one of the underrated element of two's gameplay is you know being able to trust that you know when you're in a bad spot you can rely on your teammates to sort of bail you out i think they did that there in that game and you know if they maintain the possession level that we saw in game one i think it'll easily take game two as well as spiky mikey has not let off even from the end of game one he continues the scoring streak to open up game two he has not let up at all. There he is, just a few seconds in. Four seconds into the match, that was even quicker, quicker than last game. You know, Gozi Gobbler is looking to get an early lead and then have some comfort for the remaining minutes. Well, let me tell you what, the one goal is not a ton of breathing room in twos. There is obviously, of course, the entire game to play still, so plenty of work to be done, but that is exactly the start you're hoping for if you are the Gobblers, right? You come out and build basically right where you left off from game one, you know, just trying to take this down in two games, no sense of bringing it to game three. Let's just get it done here. And it's, it's just tough here for Tactical Force Elite. They're doing their best to get the ball out of their zone and maybe mount some offense of their own, but really it's Razor DPS doing a great job on defense and now even Spikey Mikey falling back a bit to go ahead and get the ball cleared and send it towards the goal like this. Oh, there it is, Spikey Mikey making it to a oh, nice airborne control there of the ball going coast to coast. Yes, it's a beautiful touch from Mikey and, 
You know, the defender does get a touch on it there, but it's not enough to turn it away from the goal. Just a little bit out of sorts there with tactical force. And, you know, the one thing I do have to say is that I, you know, is the more that I watch, I hope tactical force, they just got to go sooner on their challenges. They're giving these guys so much space and you see what happens when they get it, you know, Spikey, you know, taking that ball through the air, one end to the other. As he will almost score that one, not quite. That was incredibly close. Oh, gosh. Now let's see how fast Gamer can respond. He tried to mount some offense, but there was Spiky Mikey again, just breaking it up. But that is Razor's answer there. Coming all the way from the midfield, jumping up again. That ball sitting in front of the net. Never good place as Razor uh, puts that one home. Yeah, now already there were, there were two goals in the first minute of game two here, and now already another one with only about 340 left to go. The 3-0 deficit already down a game in the series. Tactical Force Elite has a lot of ground to make up if they want to stay in this. They certainly do, and, and I just see so much pressure coming out from the Gobblers. I really don't think they'll let up. I, I have a tough time seeing Tactical Force you know, really coming back into this, but it is still a ton of time, you know, that's the thing. Three minutes, especially in twos, so much game time left, and they're gonna get a shot here. Is it's finally turned in, took a little bit of effort, but Lollipop puts Sackle Force on the board in game two. Spikey might be trying his best to hover around goal there and kick it out, but Lollipop Pro was, you know, pretty persistent there. Good finish to get on the board. But that's the aggression that you need there, right? In the sense that, okay, you know, we're down a bit. This ball is just, it's not quite going in, but we're gonna make it work as that was a bit of a defensive miscue there from the Gobblers and all of a sudden, Tactical Force Elite are right back in this. Lollipop Bro is putting the team on his back. Two goals in a row there, still a lot of time left. Now only a one goal deficit that they're down. Tactical Force Elite could have found a comeback. Absolutely. I think Razor might want that touchback, you know, looking for the ball in front of his own net as this one. Oh, we'll just go off the post, but the follow-ups there, Spiky Mikey will rectify the error and maintains a two-goal distance for the Gobblers. Gosh, it was almost Razor DPS off the kickoff, setting himself up. But yeah, like you said, Spiky Mikey has been in the right place at the right time, you know, filling up on boost and having really good positioning to finish these. Yes, yeah, Spikey has shown his scoring prowess here in this series, and I, I just like the way that the Gobblers are uh, sticking with it. You know, they they haven't really let up. They haven't scored quite as many goals yet. I say yet. We're only halfway through this game. They're actually on pace to score higher. And well, Spikey has something to say about it. Caster, Caster Curse or Caster Gift in that sense for the Gobblers. Because I'm just saying, they weren't quite scoring as much. Well, okay, there you go, Mikey. Spikey Mikey asked, do you want more goals? I can give you more goals. And there it is, the 5-2 lead now for the Quincy Gobblers in game two. Yes, yeah, really, really nicely worked there. And you know, this is now the Gobblers in the driver's seat. They can... They can pretty much take their time, you know, stay on the ball, stay in possession. You know, they don't have to worry about doing anything too crazy here. Just kind of ride this one out. You know, you can just see with Razor here. We'll tuck that one almost into the corner. Won't quite go. Spiky. Ooh. Oh, that's down. a nice finish. Spiky, Mikey. Yeah, when they have these opportunities presented to them, they just capitalize. You know, they don't leave... They don't make too many mistakes when the ball is in front of the goal. And yeah, nicely done by Spiky Mikey to turn that almost goal into an actual goal for him. Yeah, that was really, really nice from Spiky. Just recognizing that he was going to have the opportunity to do that. And his eraser will put in one from the kickoff himself. There you go. This the time problem with the speed the slip, sometimes it's too fast. Yeah, gosh, they were just a little bit too late on the gas there, Tactical Force Elite, and now down 7-2 with two minutes left. This might be sending them to the loser's bracket. It certainly seems that way here as a Tactical Force that just trying to, I think, get out of this one with uh, some hope to make a run through. They, you know, they ran into the scoring machine of the Gobblers, and 
you know, could be a little bit demoralizing, but I think they can keep their head high. You know, I, I don't want to call this one just about done. Obviously, there's still, you know, 90 seconds here, but the way this has been going, I think uh, the Gobblers will take this one and will take the series. Uh, so for tactical force, it's just about keeping, you know, keeping your head high, still playing well, still playing all the way out. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a tough matchup for game one of today's event. You know, going against the Glitzy Gobblers, they, they're a really strong team with good chemistry, and they, they play really well together. So, you know, to have your first game of the day trying to get warmed up and already going against a strong team like this, you know, maybe Tactical Force Elite can kind of collect themselves and bounce back and lose your side. Perhaps, and again, so this is the, you know, I'm looking at the bracket here. This is the 8 seed versus the 25 seed. So we do expect you know, some level of, you know, skill difference, right? You know, between teams that are seated that far away from each other and the bracket is lollipop will put a constellation in there for tactical force. Um, but I think it'll be a good experience for the rest of the tournament, you know, you get to see a lot of these high level players up close um, and, and you're gonna get a chance at, you know, making a run through losers. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think going against one of the top teams already this early on, it's a good test where maybe if they, start meeting up with some lower seeded teams on loser side they could really you know use this like you said this first game experience uh pretty nicely for them and yeah lollipop bro doing his best getting out of goal on the board there uh but you know just not enough with only 30 seconds left the timer inching ever closer to zero and it will be again the gobblers going through they will take on the winner of the armpits and the smacking pops. So, you know, if, if our seeding is done well, you know, they'll probably end up playing the nine seed. So for the Gobblers, it's gonna be a little bit closer than this. Uh, but and they've looked strong so far. This will certainly help their confidence going into the next round. Man, Spiky Mikey has just looked so in control with carrying that ball through midair. Man, he, uh... He, he knows what he's doing here. He, he's been sort of the, the all-star on offense so far for the Glizzy Gobblers. And here you go. As you say his name, he just delivers another. Just making sure that, you know, we're staying staying awake here on the desk. Uh, you know, making sure to follow this game all the way through. 9-3 to three, the scoreline. Two the seconds action. remaining. Yeah, the action did not stop once we went down 7-2 here. You know, Glizzy Gobblers... Still looking to entertain with some late goals. Oh, I was hoping Razor was going to give us a highlight goal there, 